hello guys welcome to my new changing impact video guys in this video i'm gonna talk about the uemia's build team and everything i'm gonna just talk about the uemia's f2p friendly build also a yeah, proper build uh, with five star weapons and the four star weapon and the free weapons uh, i'm gonna talk about every My artifact every now, artifact set piece two piece four piece forever. and the teams everything i'm just not gonna talk about everything related to uemia so if you want to build your uemia and you want to know something or everything about no uemia so stay tuned until the end guys let's start with the gameplay uemia is a five star pyro dps character uh uemia wields a bow as a weapon uemia deals maximum damage in her normal attacks normal attacks which deals pyro damage in elemental scale in charge attack no Normally he de she deals pyro damage, but not so high. But in elemental scale, when you activate elemental scale, your uh, normal attacks gonna turn into pyro attacks, and when you perform normal attacks on bow, your mia deals pyro damage. In elemental burst, you just uh, mark the enemy, and after every after two seconds, uh, the enemy will deal a slightly um so small amount of damage. And the elemental burst is not that great, but yeah, it's there. So. UMA deals pyro damage and everything is scaled on the attack percentage and pyro damage bonus. Maximum times UMA perform better doing the elemental reaction, vaporize and the and the melt reaction. Now let's talk about the weapons that weapons that you can use with UMA. I already make a separate video uh, talking about the top five star weapons and top four star weapon. But in this video, I'll just give you a brief uh, on the weapons use only those which, weapons which provides buff to uh uemia's elemental scale or the normal attacks or those weapon gives huge amount of attack percentage and if you're gonna use the five star weapons use those weapon which boost uemia's normal attack and elemental scale at the same time gives uemia's either a crit rate or a crit damage to maintain a perfect crit ratio on uemia i'm having these weapons like in the four stars Rust and the Hamayumi are the best. Hamayumi is a free F2P weapon. You can actually forge this weapon in the game. It's an Inazuma forgeable weapon. It's very good weapon. It boosts your normal attack and gives you tons of tons of attack percentage. Rust will uh, do the same. You have to wish on the weapon banner or the character banner in order to get this weapon. It gives you a tons of tons of attack percentage and boosts your normal attack damage. In the five shot, there's a many weapon. One is the Polar Shot. Second is a Thunder, Thundering Pulse. And you can also use the Skyward Harp. Skyward Harp is also very good on UE Mia. You can also use Amos Bow on UE Mia. Amos Bow is also very good. And for the uh, shop weapon and the PP weapon, the Veridescent and the Black Leaf, you can also use those weapon if you want. But uh, if you uh, manage to get a perfect ratio, like minimum 60%. Uh, crit rate and 200% crit damage around around 200% crit damage on UEMIA without a crit weapon you can use rust or hammer yumi they will perform better but you can also use the veridescent and black lift that's also an option uh, now let's talk about the artifact set uh, there's, uh, let's just quickly i just should quickly tell you that there's a two artifact sets in the game two four piece artifact sets in the game that's are perfect for UEMIA uh, first is the shiminawa Shiminama is just four piece. Shiminama is just perfect for UA base. Matches with the kit and everything is so so good. Second uh, set piece is the Crimson Witch. Of course, it's a pyro related and UA is a pyro character. In four piece is just perfect. It boosts your vaporize or melt damage. And after you use elemental skill, the two piece set bonus also get a 50% bonus. So we all know uh, UMA deals maximum damage in her elemental skill and UMA also deal vaporize and melt damage so uh, this weapon this artifacts also fits very very good with UMA I just prefer uh, this artifact over Shiminawa if we are very very much focused on the vaporize and the melt damage and i also suggest you build yoimiya as a vaporize or a melt damage dealer raw damage of yoimiya spyro damage or raw pyro damage is not that high so i will suggest you guys to use yoimiya as a elemental reaction damage dealer vaporize or melt so in that case just go for the crimson witch if you don't want to uh, be just more focused on the elemental reaction you can also use this weapon this weapon is also very good 
sorry this artifact not weapon sorry this artifact is also very good in two piece it boosts your 18 percent attack and in four piece it boosts your normal attack damage by 50 percent after you cast elemental scale you lose energy but losing energy doesn't uh, affect uemas gameplay because uemas elemental burst is totally useless no one use uemas elemental burst but the elemental scale is very good it deals a maximum amount of damage building uema you need to uh, keep some things in the mind like crit rate crit damage attack percentage and Elemental mastery. These are the four things which is which is going to be very important when you are building your Yoimiya. Elemental mastery because uh, Yoimiya is gonna deal the vaporize and melt damage. Crit rate, crit damage, or attack percentages is because Yoimiya is a DPS character. You need those percentage high in order to deal with high damage. Uh, in flower we are going to give the h percentage in feather yes attack is the is the one and in sands we are going to give the attack percentage no elemental mastery no attack no energy recharge here just give attack percentage which is a pretty good amount of elemental mastery crit, crit, crit rate or attack percentage in goblet the pyro damage bonus is going to be the only option and in circulate either you are giving crit rate or the crit damage depends on your crit ratio okay now let's talk about the constellations a C1 constellation is not that great. I don't like the C1 constellation, but C2 constellation and C3 constellation is very, very good. In C2 constellation, you will gain a pyro damage bonus when your pyro damage Yoimiya score are hit. That's a pretty good, and you will gain 25% pyro damage. That's very, very insane. And in C3, you will gain a three more level for your elemental skill. That's also insane because we know that Yoimiya is gonna deal. Only, only damage. Yomi is gonna deal all the damage in her elemental scale. So C3. If you want to go for the constellation, just go for the C3 or the C2. I don't think C1 is uh, that great because gaining 20% attack is not that great compared to gaining 25% pyro damage bonus and three level of elemental skill. So constellation C3 is pretty, pretty good and pretty worth. Okay, now let's talk about the talents. Talents, uh, just firstly focus on the elemental skill. Boost elemental skill, get uh, level up your elemental skill to the max, which is 10, and then focus on normal attack. So, crown your normal attack, crown your elemental skill, but never crown your elemental burst on your If you want, if you want to crown, you can crown. It's your account, it's your resources, it's your character. Do whatever you want. But if you want to save your resources, if you want to save your time. Just don't level up elemental burst to the max. Maybe leave it on seven or eight level. I'll I'll say on eight level. Leave it on eight level and but max this elemental scale or max this uh, crown this elemental scale and crown the normal attack. Okay guys, this is the build, this is the artifact, this is the weapon. Now let's talk about the teams that you can use with UAMIA and UMA will deal maximum amount of damage. Alright okay, guys, one team that you can use with UMA, it's right in front of you. It's having a two uh, hydro characters, Chongli and Yoimiya. I don't, I, I don't know if this is good or not, but yeah, it is good. You're having a two hydro characters here and one Yoimiya. Yoimiya will, uh, you know, deal the vaporized damage. Chongli is for some little buff and to protect Yoimiya. You can also replace Planet uh, here you with Chongli. This is going to be another team. And if you don't have Yelan, or you can also replace Yelan here with the Yunjin. Yunjin are also very good let's get this show on the normal road attacks damage to Junjin. if you uh, use Junjin here Junjin also gonna be performing better with this team so one team is gonna be this the uemia banded Junjin and shinkyu of course you can again replace characters here like you can replace bandit with the jongli oh, here would be nice. if your uemia keeps on dying on the field your jongli will protect and they can also trigger the geo resonance here and if you use a banner here in place of a Zhongli, where is banner? You, you will you trigger me on pyro resonance, which gives you an extra 25% attack bonus. Uh, you can also replace another uh, Shinkyu here by uh, by with the what's that? Ayato. Join Ayato you for a walk. Do some normal attacks. Hmm, why and not? Yunjin also boosts normal attacks and Bennett will give Yoimiya more attack percentage and 
with pyro resonance you'll gain more attack this is going to be another team this is going to be all vaporized team now let's talk about some uh, some melt teams here so what you will do just replace ayato with what are my orders ganyu here so this is going to be another team ganyu will uh, give the cryo <laughs> cryo element and then mixing up with the yoimiya you will deal melt damage you you you're going to be the same part when it's going to be the same job you can also now replace yunjin with another character that's a kazuwa kazuwa will Sounds boost good cryo me. damage bone uh, cryo damage and the pyro damage so and also kazuwa will collect all the enemies into one place for yoimiya so it will going to uh, get easier for yoimiya to deal damage you can also replace kazuwa with venti here waiting, for I? the same job You can also replace Zhongli here. What This shall we do? This is going to be another team. You can also replace uh, here, and you can use Yunjin again. This is going hmm. to be the another team. Which opera shall we perform today? So, guys, this is the all team that you can use with Yoimiya. There is another team called the Overlord team. Overlord team, but I don't recommend Overlord team. Overlord team is just stupid in my opinion. The the damage is not that high, and Yeah, I don't like the uh, overload teams, but yes, the vaporized teams and the melt teams are these ones that I'll sh I'll just show you. These are all the character that you can you know uh, switch. Uh, you can do the experiments. These are the character that you can use with Yoimiya, like Zhongli, Yunjin, Bennett, Ganyu, Shinkyu, even Kokomi. Not Kokomi, sorry. You can <laughs> no, Kokomi is not gonna be working. So Ayato, uh, Shinkyu, Yunjin, Zhongli, Kazuya. Yelan, Ganyu, Venti. These are the all character banets. Diona also. This is all character that you can use with Yoimiya, and you will deal massive amount of damage. You can do one more thing. You can replace Shongli with the Diona here, and you can replace Yunjin with Banet here. But during you can use this team also. You will gain extra crit rate here, fifteen percent crit rate. That's pretty pretty uh, insane. Yeah, so you can use this this team also. So yes, these are the these are the teams that you can use with Yoimiya, and you will deal pretty much very good amount of damage. Now, guys, just quickly talk about the ratios, the percentage that you will need to have on Yoimiya. Minimum the two thousand attack is needed here. Okay, any DPS character which is related to totally on attack percentage like. that character is totally dependable on the attack percentage it scales only on attack percentage like uh, ka like shao or any other character like uh, ganyu you will need minimum of 2000 attack here like 2000 attack without any buff without the weapon refinement buff nothing without any character buff without any resonance uh, elemental resonance buff you will need minimum of 2000 attack here my ui is on 70 level and the weapon is also on 80 level that's why i am not having 2000 attack here but minimum you need a 2000 attack here you will also going to need some of elemental mastery here you're going to need a minimum of 100 elemental mastery if you're going to deal a very good amount of damage uh, you can also fix this problem by using some characters like uh, you can use lg with the yoimiya like you can use yelen with yoimiya and give lg to yelen so yelen will give you around some This weapon will give you some sixty elemental mastery uh, or hundred elemental mastery, like one sixty elemental mastery that this weapon can give you. So that's uh, that's very very that's pretty good. That's why I love this weapon. And then you'll need a ratio. You minimum you need sixty percent crit rate here. The so UE is essential. Uh, you'll get crit rate from the UE's ascension. UE means ascension. You will get crit percentage. So you'll need 60% minimum crit rate here, and if you get to manage to have like minimum, minimum, minimum 180 crit damage. So minimum 60 crit rate and minimum 180 crit damage is needed. No energy recharge needed. No. Uh, even if you wanna use the elemental burst, elemental burst only costs 60. Your elemental burst will gonna charge very quickly. You don't need gonna need any energy recharge here. The, the Elemental, the particle generation rate is also go very good. The energy generation rate is also good on Yoimiya. Besides the fact that Yoimiya's elemental burst is totally useless, but yes, you can still use with the minimum, like with the very less energy recharge. 
Okay guys, so this is the video. This is the everything I know about UAB as a team. The everything. If you want to use the Dendro team also, I'll, I can suggest you one Dendro team also. It's a version team. You can use it if you hear me. I, but I don't know that, uh, how the team going to be. But yes, you can use that team. My it's personal favorite team is this with Yoimiya. Like I, I nowadays I use this team. I don't I'll know if this team wounds. is uh, good or not. Time to See, the this is the team that again. I use with Yoimiya. Bezu here, nahi I don't know why Bezu is here. We can uh, replace the Bezu with another guy. Never mind. Bezu is here and uh, nahi is here. Bezu is purely here in this team, not for any buffs, but for the protection, for the healing and. Third thing for the Dendro Resonance. Why Dendro Resonance is important here? Because Dendro Resonance will give you around uh, how much? Uh, 50 and 30. 50 and 30 uh, is 6, 70, 80. 80 elemental mastery. Uh, the other 20 you will not get. Yeah, you will get. Ah, you will get. You will get the other. Sorry. So you will get 100 elemental mastery from here. So you will get 100 elemental mastery from here. You will get. Uh, 200 something elemental mastery from Nahida that's going to be 300 elemental mastery you're gonna get around around 150 elemental mastery from the elegy so around around 400 ele ele elemental mastery you're gonna gain your UMI is gonna gain 400 ele elemental mastery then UMI will trigger two reaction first is the burgeon second is the vaporize UMI will also trigger uh, UMI are not UMI, but Yale and also gonna trigger Bloom reaction. So this team will perform very very good. If you wanna use Pyro with the Dendro only, this gonna team is good. I don't know how UMI is good with the Dendro characters or how much is Burgeon reaction is good. Like, I don't like the Burgeon reaction, but I like using this team because either you're having like 400 elemental mastery without giving any elemental mastery artifact or weapon on Yoimiya and you will also deal vaporize damage because you are using Yoimiya and Yelen. Uh, so yeah, this is the team. This is not the ideal team, but yeah, you can try this team and see by yourself that how good is team, this team is uh, gonna perform, how good this team is gonna is performing on the field. I just use this team as a fun, for fun, like for exploration and killing the world bosses and all. Hey right, guys, that's all I know about Yoimiya's uh, the elemental skill, the burst, the build, the artifact, the weapon, the constellation, and the team. Everything. Uh, uh, Yoimiya is very easy to build, like there's no, uh, not very much ha headache or something. It's very easy to build and the weapon's availability is also very good there. The free weapon is also available. The F2P weapon is also available, and the five star weapons is also available. I already told told you about the four star weapon and the five star weapons. So UMI is a very fun character. If you are going to pull UMI as a, uh, right now, it's totally worth. Like this elemental scale, you need is just very good. Like. Uh, uh, just imagine some enemies are flying up there like a thunder manifestation you can kill that bastard also very easily so yeah it, the UMA is very good UMA is uh, literally very good you can still pull UMA is 2023 and UMA is still worth in 2023 she's very fun to play and she is good when it comes to dealing the damage Alright guys, so that's it for the video. I hope you like the video. If you do, share with your friends, like the video. And if you have any question related to changing, you can comment below. And if you think I said something wrong, you can also correct me in the comment. And guys, share the video and subscribe to the channel. We'll meet in the next video guys. Till then, bye bye. Take care.